Anyway, we got to get to our next segment. Hold yeah, on. yeah. No, I like a segment. <laughs> Welcome to the new J Train podcast. Yeah. Hello and hey, welcome what? to the J Train Podcast. This is J Train Jared Freed coming to you live from Feather Nation Studios. That's right, every Monday. This is the view for idiots. <laughs> yeah, you're Sherry Shepard. You're Barbara Walters. Hello and welcome I'm to Whoopi. Turning Point. That's right. <laughs> so we, listen, and uh, I'm here with Greg Stone, Anthony DeVito. I'm Jared Freed. All of our information in the bio this episode Anthony, you got shows. Greg, you got shows. Sure. You got social media. Yeah, yeah. We're here to make you laugh. We're gonna. Get, this is no. We don't do plugs. What? We don't do. Yeah, no. I'm here no, for a plug. What? I was, I was told this was a plug only <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, I know it was plugs only. Plugs only. Oh that's my, my other show. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are here for. J no, Train we're not you here came for the plugs wrong only. Show. God, this man. is no Jesus. plug alley. How are people um, gonna know about my mother's funeral? <laughs> Greg's mother's funeral is next week. <laughs> you can go to the wake, pay your specs. At you the, are uh, always going to tell the family. Carluzzo, um Egg on uh, your face if she home. dies. Yeah, if I she mean, dies, is... we are in trouble. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, here's the thing about the plugs. It was getting to the point yeah. where I was listening to podcasts, and I'm like, and I'm doing them going, that's all we're talking about. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I gotta, yeah. You know where to find. Yeah. It, uh, we're there. not going to convince anyone via <laughs> us saying come to Portland. I, know. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah. Listen to Friday Night Greg. Support the Patreon at patreon.com. Yeah, but this Greg is the Stone thing. Stone. If you're good Friday here. He if you're snuck good. one in. Oh, wow. Uh, he, he said everything perfectly and exactly cut with that enthusiasm. Fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> no plugs. We cut, cut no city. Plugs. Yeah. No, you know what I mean, though. Yes, We've done it. Sure. All plugs. Yes. I remember getting yelled at on a multiple podcast mm. for the lack of enthusiasm for my plugs. <laughs> yeah, our podcast, and it was me yelling at you because you'd be like, uh, go see me at the wedding chapel in New, New Orleans. I'm like, is that a place? I don't know. The well, wedding no chapel in you. New Orleans? <laughs> Who knows? He would just plug things that didn't exist. In between his real things. I found them to be, I just found them to be so insincere. Yeah, but what do you say now? Well, I don't, I draw. <laughs> <laughs> why? I'll tell you why. <laughs> you were telling people to go see at the well, butthole in New York City. Listen, go see Anthony. But I'm at the butthole. <laughs> you just, we, before we turn the camera, just go, why don't I draw? <laughs> Oh, I got to sell a ticket. <laughs> I'll say this. I'm so, I'm so comfortable not drawing. Yeah. It's. Uh, uh, worrisome. I would argue that you probably do draw, but you've made no attempt to try to draw. Too. Right. That you don't know that you could well, just do it. Oh, you how could, about this? this is what this if podcast you is find. about. We're trying to find a way. I'm trying to create a new vehicle. Yeah. For you two to sell tickets. I know. Tickets, but the, I know to that. be so funny. Yeah. yeah. That people go, I gotta find out where these guys are. Yeah. And then I make it very easy by putting the link in the bio of this episode on YouTube, on the podcast app. Sure. So it like I just have come to terms with the idea of like, there's no point in me going, I'm in Boston in February. And yeah. like because like whoever's there, I don't think they're getting ah, I heard you say it that one yeah. time. I don't know. I, I, I think, think that works. It it works, but I think we've evolved. I think people know yeah. you're a comedian, you're a comedian, I'm a comedian, we got shows, we want you to come to the mm. buy tickets. It's different than what we're doing here, but it's adjacent to it. Right. If you had fun with us here, you can have fun with us there. Right. I would say sometimes saying your podcast at the end of a podcast is good because then someone goes, I want more of that, and I'm driving. Mm. So now they go, hey Siri, look up. Friday night, Greg. <laughs> when he got his plug in, you know, <laughs> what, what got a rock, it in. Friday night, rocky energy. road you Look drive at, on. He, and now Siri brought it up. Look at <laughs> it's a on his phone. I don't know. I've always I want Friday night energy right. on a Wednesday morning. Greg Stone. Just, this and, guy. This is unbelievable. Anthony DeVito. <laughs> I've always, I, I if you it. love me, you can find me. That's what I've always I said. It. If you can love me, you can find me. Good yeah. luck yeah. selling out the Takuda. Takuda. The Takuda <laughs> Funny Foot. That reminds me, I believe the Takuda Funny Foot, March 13th through March 31st. Go check out. I have an 18 the day Funny resume. Foot is a great club, great chicken funny fingers. Foot, yeah. They call them chicken toes. <laughs> <laughs> the funny Foot. Listen, I wanted to start this episode with a. Yeah. Um, and, and what, are, what are my dogs? What my crazy dog? And my crazy dog. <laughs> I love my crazy dog. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> Settle down. Easy, 
Here's the thing. Every segment you. we do, you can talk. you can send in what you your am I crazy dog right, to ask right. your dog. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta ask the dog. So I gotta tell this story. My dad calls me. Okay. We should get bones for this. We ch- yeah. I'll get some bones. You're right. Do, Fair do a thing to keep in mind. Oh, we boy. write to edit. This guy just, this oh, guy just took Johnny a bone. Johnny Vapes, Steve. Yeah, Jer- <laughs> Big Daddy Vapes is back. Big Daddy Vapes. <laughs> That's my soul leaving my body like a Native American. <laughs> what a crazy I sentence. <laughs> I don't think that's like a Native American at all. Is that how, how it goes? Native Americans wouldn't wear blankets when they would sleep. They would wear blankets when they slept because it would keep their soul and their body from escaping. Is that a real thing or do I, I have to be nervous up. that... I thought you were joking that that was an actual weed vape. It, it is. Oh, yeah, fella. <laughs> fella? I've never seen a guy get so high so quickly. Right. They call me the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy Vape oh, Flash. <laughs> Big so Daddy okay. Vapes. How was your week? <laughs> and my crazy dog. Okay? I know, I love this segment. Yeah, okay, yeah. ready? Come now, on. this is something, I'm going to bring up a story, mm-hmm. and you're going to tell me whether I'm crazy to be annoyed at it. Yes. My dad calls me. Mm-hmm. He goes, I got a friend whose nephew wants to be a comedian. Uh, oh. Would you mind if I gave him your number? Mm. And when you get that call from someone, yes. which I'm sure you both have, yes. what's your first thought? What do you, <sighs> what do I say to them? Well, your dad calls you. Your mom calls you. Hey, so you, you rose from the grave, father. <laughs> First of all, I your crying. dead dad haunts you. He's like, Anthony, my friend. I have a friend with a nephew. He's haunting his nephew right now. With Casper. I got to do comedy lessons for Casper. I don't know why every ghost to me is Paul Bearer, but I uh, <laughs> So They've been maligned in that okay. way. Yep. So you yeah. get approached to help someone who's new to comedy. Yeah. My oh. first thought, right, you just made a face, is depression. Right. Because the problem is you have to say, you know, and you've done this before, that you're going to have to talk to someone where you have to say out loud how hard this is, yeah. the thing you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And so how you're you'll be a failure. What? You're like, you are like, I'm a failure. Right. Don't do this. Right. Look I, at me. Yeah. And I remember asking older comics for advice way back when, and I remember they'd be annoyed as I, and I never wanted to like give that annoyance to the next person. Right. I want to be nice, but I, and I also want to make myself available. I'll do, listen, it's my dad, it's a, his friend. I'll make myself available. Right. Whatever. But yeah. I'm not excited to do this. Right. Okay? I'm not sitting there being like, can't wait to hear out loud all of my insecurities with comedy. <laughs> I can't. I'm not excited to have someone like be like, so when do you go audition for yeah. SNL? Like, I don't want to answer that question. Do you know what I mean? Yes. You know exactly. Absolutely. I mean. Right. So I then receive. So I give my number. And my dad goes, thank you, whatever. He gives it to his friend, I guess. And I get this voice note. Not a text. Not like, like, I don't know. How would you do it? If someone gave you someone's number, if someone gave you, you know, Sebastian Maniscalco's number. Yeah. And was like, you could go. He said, call anytime. Here's his number. He said he's open to give you advice. What would you do? I'd call. Well, first of all, I'd call him and do my impression of him to him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd go, Hey, pal, <laughs> Sebastian here. Who am I talking to? Where's there's it's nowhere to park? You Sebastian too. I'm also Sebastian. <laughs> I didn't see you at this the meeting. Like, this is like when the <laughs> TikTok impressionists Sebastian get together <laughs> and do the impression yeah. to no each other. No one is themselves. <laughs> right. I just want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to John Madden. <laughs> And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna see what he did here and pow! Like now I'm John. Here's a guy you don't know. And I, I didn't say my Sebastian impression's good. Yours isn't say. bad. Greg, you beat Greg <laughs> in fuck, the Sebastian man. off. I gotta say, wow. now, uh, Greg looks like a ship captain. I feel Doesn't he yeah. look very ship captain. Greg, I'll say this about Greg, and there's something to him. I don't know what it is. He's always one shirt or pant away from a completely different person. Yep. Yes. If Greg puts on <laughs> track pants, he's in the mafia. People have handed me envelopes of cash. Yeah. <laughs> and I've had to say, I can't do anything for you. Right. <laughs> Turn the cash away. <laughs> yeah, I have to push it away. What's the vig? Listen, Greg. I got one of these. Okay. So, so I got a voice note. This is from. This nephew. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? This yeah. Is, yeah. Ready. This is what he elected to do. Okay. Seriously, if someone gave me their number sure. to like reach out to someone in my profession, yeah, I text. Hey, got yes. this from my my uncle. I I know you got you're busy. Totally. Just want to like, you know, whenever you have a free moment, would love to yeah. get on the phone with you to pick your brain. That yeah. would be my yeah. text 
leading to call when is a good time to talk on the phone. Of right. I'll call you. I'm not going to make me my issue their problem. So I'm going to play this. I want to bleep out their name. We did this already or we will? We are. Okay, we will. <laughs> V's on it. Okay, now ready? Play this. Let's play the clip. This is the voice note I received from the nephew. I think Big Daddy Vape should give comedy advice. Well, we're going to ask Big Daddy Vape to give comedy advice once we hear this. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, perfect. No, I, okay. Jared, my man, what up? This is <laughs> On stage, I go by <laughs> uh, My uncle and aunt are neighbors with your parents in Boca. Uh, you know, your father thought it would be a good idea for you to reach out because you boys are both doing comedy and he's just an up-and-comer. You get the idea. Uh, yeah, you know the deal. I'm, I'm fat. I'm a Jew. I guess that kind of gives me a niche here in Minnesota, which is where I do comedy. But, like, I'm East Coast through and through, and that translates to my style on stage. So, yeah, I guess I have some things uh, in common with you, and that's cool. Uh, thanks for giving out your contact information. Uh, I understand you can't, like, make or break or m- my career or, like, wave the magic wand, but I would love to just shoot the shit with you. Let me know. Peace. He, again, I take the same position I took last time. He had one shot. <laughs> he had like I got one shot at this right I'm gonna give it everything I can and they don't realize you don't gotta go big yeah you just go hey Jared my life is ha- over I'm a fat Jew you're a no, fat Jew he said gonna, that I knew this was gonna I get missed you that. I knew this was gonna, <laughs> are you out I of knew your it. fucking <laughs> mind I fat? knew Jared was waiting on a, he, oh. that was the, my favorite part that was I, the part where I went I kind of like this guy <laughs> wow I missed that <laughs> I'm around. showing you guys because I I think you two are very nice people yeah I think you two would be helpful to someone like this no matter what yeah yes you hear this are you do you like this person I, I think I, I come I'm obviously going to call them <laughs> the back Excel made me quick I call now I did call him <laughs> Oh, you got the king of vapes. You're going to do comedy. You got yeah. the right spot. You 75 imagine? bucks up front. Yeah. Four minutes. Cold. Go. <laughs> and that's a great. That would be the meanest thing you could possibly yeah. do to a person. Joke, you're funny. on live. Yeah, you got your now. shot. Yeah, kid. you're on the now. podcast. Make me, <laughs> <laughs> me laugh now. Make me laugh now. Make me laugh now. Hit this vape. Make me laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the <laughs> Big Daddy Babe School of Comedy. You gotta come every ten seconds. <laughs> I need a laugh every ten uh, seconds. Go, go. Uh, the way Big Daddy Babe says now is uh, <laughs> Big Daddy Babe's offensive since before nine eleven. <laughs> is that a shirt? <laughs> that, we can't bring up nine eleven on yeah, every, every show. episode. Yes, we can. <laughs> Michelle Obama? Yes, we can. <laughs> Sorry. Very famously, the Barack. Er- <laughs> but, man, no. Who do you think told her behind every man is a woman? I don't even want to hear what the conservatives are probably going to say about that. She told that to him? Yes, yeah, she went, say this. Yes, we can. He went, you know, bitch, that's pretty good. And then he got up and he went, yes, we can. And he I stole said, it. Again. He stole it from her. Wow, accusations <laughs> right off the top. What do you think of this guy? You you think you, would you call, I called him after this. Yeah, yeah. I and called him back four times. Four times. Just you keep calling him till he goes, I'm out. Screaming. I'm high. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's great. I called him back. <laughs> I, I said, Jared, put it away. Jared, you, you said you'd do your dad a favor. It's for your dad. Put yeah. This, yes. Put it away. Put it and away. I called, I go, hello. Uh, and he goes, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, I didn't think I could hate a person more than the first time I heard their voice. Yeah. Oh. 7,000 times more. He literally, and I was trying to keep it straight. Like, yeah. I was, like, trying to, like, be like, so, if there's any way I can help you, let me know. Yeah. And he's, like, telling me. He's like, they couldn't really handle me in this city, so I moved to this city. And it's I don't know, dad. I'm, like, this East Coast guy. <laughs> it's like your dad. Yeah. Your dad did comedy. Oh, yeah, he still does. He's funny. But and he says he, like the, the people you know, can't handle like, him. He goes, he told me, Sebastian Maniscalco stole my bit. Oh, yeah. Sebastian Maniscalco <laughs> stole about how COVID couldn't make you smell because of Italians would need the sense of smell or something. He goes, that's my bit. I go, where did he hear you do this bit? <laughs> the driveway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Been on stage in years. Yeah, he's <laughs> screaming he's on a yelling at me, Sebastian. ham radio. <laughs> so did Sebastian come to the cellar? He's like, I think I should talk to him about this bit. And I went, no and no. You're not going to talk to Sebastian. <laughs> it's so funny. They're on a flight together. 
yeah, yeah. I've been <laughs> meaning <laughs> to talk to you. Yeah. Let me tell you something. That this, you, I think right now I'm gonna say delete everything we just spoke about because what you need to understand is this kid will not be a comedian. But he will be running this industry right. in He'll three be, years. Right. He will be working head, for, head of WMA. This <laughs> yes. two years. This no podcast question. is he's gonna go fuck him and he's gonna be running Madison Square Garden. And you're no longer allowed to play for the Knicks. Man. <laughs> they they would have no taken more you. For the Knicks. You would have been a starting uh, small forward. Listen, I don't know. I am I the asshole for being no. annoyed by this? Am I am I the uh, am, uh, am I crazy dog? You're not crazy dog. Uh, because you did, I think a lot of people wouldn't go through with the call. He literally, yeah. Well, I because the said call myself, he does insult you very explicitly on the call, right? And then I, wild. I, <laughs> it was wild. I literally go on the call. I go. I try to like keep it straight. I was like, hey man, anything I can help you with? I'm gonna be in your town. Uh, if you want tickets, uh, I'll put your name at the door. That's what I said to him, and he's like, and then he goes, and I go, that's. And, and I was like, and if anything else you need, you got my number. And at one point, I was like walking while t- talking about this. I was getting out of an Uber. I got in the elevator and he goes, you heard the elevator ding? And he goes, what are you like uh, in line at a deli? And I was like, oh, man, what is, he is I was like, what Damn. is this? Yeah. What are we doing here? Yeah. He's not Jewish. He's pretending. This For the jokes, it's like the, uh, like, the Seinfeld this, bit. This guy has to believe I'm Jewish. This is what <laughs> Jewish people talk about. <laughs> Delis. Are you at the deli? I'm fat. Oi, <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> I can barely, I can barely uh, bend uh, over to light my Hanukkah candles. Right. <laughs> I'm so fat. Is there this soup is too cold? <laughs> That's my cash phrase. We gotta clip that. That's gonna be a gift. <laughs> soup is too cold. Okay, let's go to a new segment. We got a new segment. Is this who I am? Now you go on TikTok. Here's something that I've come to accustomed to on TikTok is that. Mm-hmm. What you find out is that TikTok is going to tell you who you are. Sometimes you get on a trend or whatever on TikTok and you go, how am I getting this many videos for this thing? Yeah. Because you, and again, if you watch something long enough, it will give you more. It will feed that beast. Yeah. Do you have a trend that you can't believe is your TikTok trend? It's like, I, I can believe it. Is the problem right? <laughs> That's the problem. What's yours? It's it's and it's it's and I'm sure it's it's most guys. And I hate to just it's it's hacky and I'm throwing myself into the lump of people. It's probably the same thing. Is uh you know it's a uh, clothing hauls of women. Oh really? <laughs> but it's not really clothing hauls. It's you like know, it's, right. I'm gonna try on all of you know fat ass Fran. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Clothes of the month. And yeah. you're like. I'll this see is, what fat ass Fran. This is a way around me getting to look at an attractive woman. Right. And it's like, it's a disguise. It is interesting that you are this of the people. Like, she's like, wow, 30,000 views on this video. And it's like 29,000 dudes named Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. And then a thousand women were like, I have the same ass. <laughs> and I really do find these videos helpful. Yeah. Right. Like, I, that is a funny thing. That, yeah. Like, someone is being helped because. They're like, I'm dressing for my body. I feel good in these clothes. I can let you know if they fit or totally. not. And I have watched those videos and been like, no, don't go with that one. Like, I've, I've gone into the mode where, like, I'm right. more... You're more the, on the fashion end of the stick right, than like you I, are, yeah. I go from dude to fashionista yeah. <laughs> very quickly where I'm like, yeah, no, don't do that. I can't believe how badly that fits. <laughs> Revolve, what are you doing to these people? And then there's oh. also me being like... Yeah, fucking hot as shit. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how, it's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde yeah, in my yeah, brain, yeah. you know? Well, yeah, they catch you on a good day. Right. And you're, you're Hyde who goes, not with that blouse. Right. Yeah. And then they catch you another day. And I, I'm thinking I'm mixing up Jekyll and Hyde here. Right. But, like, you know, you know, I get it. You're, no, you're, but Jekyll yeah. is, is yeah, a good one. Yeah, I think Jekyll's a sensible one. Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's got to be Hyde. Hyde. Hyde sounds. Hyde's your dick. <laughs> <laughs> they need. Jekyll's the brain, yeah. Hyde's the dick. <laughs> The problem for me is that they're constantly sending me these horny videos. Yeah. But now I'm a dad. Sending them to you. Oh, they come up yeah, <laughs> personally in the mail. Sending them to you I get a phone. That, 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 you need to change your language <laughs> amongst <laughs> Greg's on loose understanding. Your page isn't just, oh, here, Greg, let me show you some that's, hot tits. That's how my mom talks to me about social media. <laughs> she goes, she'll say this. She goes, Facebook left me a message. <laughs> Oh, really? What did Mr. Facebook say? 
<laughs> yeah, it's, uh, what's his name? What, uh, Zuckerberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark wants me to know. Sometimes I'll, I'll see my mom. My mom will call me when she's commented on something. That's I fun. forget what it was. She goes, I had to let them know. And I was <laughs> let like, them know. Yeah, yeah, let them know what. And I think it was something about, like, it was one of those Boston dynamic, like, you know, when they're like, every now and again, oh, the robot. once a month, Boston dynamic, something right. will, a video will emerge from Boston dynamic that scares the world. Yeah. You know? Why do they, what, and they keep, why are, we're not smart. Right. Why are we sitting here going, <laughs> yeah. no, I don't need a dog that can also dance, right. a robotic dog yeah. that can, like, Take advantage of other robotic dogs. Right. Like you know, you're like, why? Why would you build this? Yeah. 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 Look Good. how hard. It, look, we could keep kicking it, and it keeps getting up. Right. Yeah. Look what we've built. Something that is resilient against our best efforts. Right. Why? It could hold a gun. Right. Why? Why is the dog holding a gun while doing a flip? Yeah. Why? Why? But I don't understand. I exactly. see those videos, and I go. Why is no one in charge? Like, yeah. no one's, like, arresting these people? <laughs> no. Get rid of these nerds. Yeah. Oh, my mom calls me up and she goes, I wrote them. And I go, you wrote them? <laughs> yeah. And she goes, I wrote them. You have to stop. <laughs> she, 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 she totally goes, did. <laughs> so hopefully she got through. Yeah. Hello, Raytheon? <laughs> <laughs> this has to end. <laughs> right. The war machine must be stopped. <laughs> Raytheon, please stop it. <laughs> and then Ray, head of Raytheon comes out. We were called by Mrs. DeVito earlier <laughs> today. We realized the error of our ways. Yeah. So this is what's been coming up on my feed. Yeah. Okay. That's Ready? My point. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. For the Sorry. love of fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> Annoyed Greg. <laughs> Annoyed Greg is as close to Nathan Lane right. as he gets. Well, the thing is, I'm so high, I don't know the proper way to respond, so I just pick one. Go wildly angry. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Anyway, <laughs> just, you just talked about emotion like it was the, the movie with the emotion things in your head. <laughs> Emoji. Oh, press a button. <laughs> they send me something that's like, hey, you're learning. Right? TikTok is like, for you. Yeah. Like, five presents you must know about. Then it's like, fun kid videos. Sure. 19-year-old ass thong yeah. only fans. You can't have that so close to each other. Right. I can't go from I want to raise my kid right to I'm going to jerk off in the streets. You know, like <laughs> well, you yeah. can't do that hide. under a minute. Hide. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, you're right. There, there should be, like at the top Give me a horny category. It should say hmm. for penis, for daddy, <laughs> Right. For gamer. Yes. You know, like instead of for you, there's yes. different versions of you. Right. Yeah. But they know. This is good. But they know go ahead. the gamer's not going to keep me on. But that fat fucking ass is going to keep me here. Right. That's why you switch the columns. But I guess that's yeah. the but they that's the, the, the lottery system of TikTok. And that's what's so successful about it. Is that you, don't, do you go, I'll do one more slide of the fingers. Yeah, Who yeah. knows what will come up? What will they serve to me next? And yeah. it, that's why when I see a video that comes up that I'm like, I can't believe I watched it enough to tell Father Algorithm mm. that I am, I want more of this. Yeah. And this is what I got. Moses Robert McGeorge, known professionally as M.R, mm. is an English rapper born and raised in Sheppey, known for his use of Jamaican patois. Okay? I <laughs> I saw this guy yeah. when his video came up, first of all, the 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 Rasta whatever he's doing, it's pretty good. Yeah. His look yeah. is jarring with the music. Oh, sure. Uh, right. I he hate. looks like Beans from Even Steven. I wish I knew. That seems Just like laugh. it's a... Bring uh, up hilarious. Beans. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Yeah, it would be you insincere. Don't know. I just didn't know Beans. I don't know Beans. Oh, boy. He was like a Disney... Oh, sure. Okay, I've seen the face. Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, play, let's oh, play... Oh, he does, man. Oh, he does. Wow. He gets told he looks like another guy, but I... And I think that guy's from... Um, What's the one about the family that's the... Family guy? Not family. <laughs> Everybody loves Raymond. No. Uh, Josh and like Sam. They're like poor. It was on Showtime. Shameless. Uh, okay. Shameless. Shameless. Will, oh, William H. Macy? I don't know if it's him yes, or... Yes, he does look like William H. Macy. One of the people from Shameless. What's the... Has anyone ever... Uh, it's in the comments of the TikTok. If we go to the TikTok... So let's go play... Let, you got to see this guy do his thing. Oh. 
Big bomber class before busting on me head. I said to girl, I said she want to give me head. When me fuck pussy, pussy turn red. Gymnastic, no the pussy dead. When me day I pour more dung on I go dead. That's the line. And yeah. now he's saying it everywhere. All right. Now, anywhere he goes, he's yeah. like, he's doing it slow. He's doing it talking. He's it's, doing it. It's his Michelle Obama's Yes We Can. That's exactly right. what yeah. it is. <laughs> is he like, did he, why is he doing, like, is he from this area? Does he like this music? They I actually, know. now he's like become this like thing where I see videos is where he he's, a joke? he's taking, well, that's the thing. Sometimes TikTok to me is a cross between like, it's like the joke that became a joke in high school. Right. Like everything yeah. feels very high school joke where yeah. it's like we're making fun of this person, but then they own the joke. Right. And now the joke is theirs and they are actively like a popular person in the school because of this right. joke that they've evolved from. Yeah. So like he plays like he he did a video where he's doing a 23 and me. Right. Like, and he's like, look at I'm 0% Jamaican. And right, he's like, right, you're right, not. Right. Yeah, it's funny. And you go, funny. it is it's funny. funny. Yeah. And you go, yeah. when, like, here he is. Here's the like, DNA my, results. Like, my thing is, if he, if his heart is in this, if he loves this kind of music because that's what he loves. Right. Like, do it. It seems, if, I mean, he's pretty good at it. But he could just be a guy who goes, oh, this is how I can sell tickets. Well, now he is. Now he's doing this line over, like, play, let's play this. M dot R's DNA ancestry let's see what he says so he says here zero 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 <laughs> point one jamaican <laughs> i don't get what's so I'm funny to him <laughs> i'm only joking all right so look i'm gonna be <laughs> his comedic timing is great yeah. he could have sold that buddy it's just pure white like look, scotland 32 percent Scottish? You gotta turn this off. <laughs> yeah, I, I like you. Know, the less you, the more you see the, the yeah, less you yeah, like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, how, how much do you acknowledge the joke? Right, right. Before because you, seeing him. Oh, he wants to be serious. He can't. Like Eminem really couldn't do that. Eminem just took the rap so serious that he, you know, Eminem faced a lot of that. People were like, "Who's this white rapper?" They used to put him on K Rock. But it get, like it's rock and roll because he's white. But like Eminem, Eminem was crazy. Yeah, yeah. That was real. Yeah, yeah. they, they would K Rock. Put Eminem, and they would have no other rappers on a classic rock station, but Eminem, and you'd be like, "What's the factor here?" Right, right. <laughs> like it was, it was like impossible to ignore. Limp Bizkit. Yeah. The band, like, live, and then they put on Blim right. this guy, and you're like, why yeah. is he I here? guess because Eminem, you go, it wasn't like a mashup. Like, go, let's go to the old guys. Like, this is another thing. These old guys are huge now, too. Look at these old rappers. Well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, of course, this is amazing. Because he's not yeah. supposed to know how to do this. Right. Yeah. This is TikTok now. This is, it's, it's, what, it's, it's an oddity. You go... <laughs> And people love them. If you go to the comments, they're like, better than any rapper I've heard. Like, you know, like. Because they have wisdom. <laughs> but this is, I love this. This is crazy. That, it's hilarious. But again, this goes back to the high school no, thing. That's a full joke. Where it's like, I got to like zone in on this long enough where it's like, is this an old guy who's like kind of good at rapping? Yeah. Singing about like. But that's like, what makes it funny. Because right. if, if he wasn't good, he'd be like, okay, yeah, funny, you did a joke. But yeah. like, that's what makes. That's that's hilarious. Yeah, that's a, that is a joke. Yeah, that's a that. Uh, but I think they have multiple videos. They're not joking around. That's what I mean. But that's what makes it good is right. the fact that they are serious about it. The fact that they're not like this is a one time ha ha and we're old and we're doing this thing. It's the fact that here's the old look, look at this is him doing an acoustic M dot R. Let's play that one. No, the one next to it, uh, to the right with the piano. Yeah, that one. <laughs> He's doing that in a mall. He's talking about fucking pussy in a mall. Like, isn't there like a parent around? <laughs> Been there. <laughs> <laughs> trouble. It is funny. Oh, you see this every now and again with like the the English accent can mm. I think get close to Jamaican patois, mm. so they go like, well, that's one more fun than my voice, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna. And do it's just it. a hair over. Like right. it's such a departure from like ours that when you do it, you're like, it's offensive. Yeah. But when because you're his <laughs> right. real voice when he's Us like doing it, yeah. yeah. But when his real voice was like, hey, I'm I'm from Leeds, right. I'm from Leeds, England, and, and then he goes, but what's so with but 
It's right there. It's right, close. Right, right, it's right. a little close. I feel right like. on the doorstep. It's on the doorstep yeah. enough. Bumble You're in the neighborhood. Doobie. I got the bumble doobie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got another segment. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, ready? Sure, I, I, sure. I want to go to the next segment. I never had to say uh, before the before we do. What's that? Go, ahead, go ahead, man. Please. Am I crazy? I had one. Oh. <laughs> I had one. I was <laughs> am I about. crazy, dog? This is, <laughs> am I crazy this is dog? how high you are. This is <laughs> how late you are. Of the am I crazy? We just did a full segment. <laughs> I know. We did like, a full <laughs> segment. Holding on to it. I didn't want to okay. interrupt. Play yeah. the music. No, we gotta. <laughs> okay, we gotta get music for am I crazy, dogs? This okay, you, you're in the dog house. <laughs> am I crazy, dog? Yeah. I didn't know what to do. I was walking home the other day, and it was dark because it's gotten late now. And this lady, we were walking like shoulder to shoulder almost, yeah. and then we both turned on my block, mm. and then I didn't know what to do, and I was a little high, and I went, "I'm not following you." And then she, <laughs> she went, ah, you yelled she, that oh, out. I went, "I'm not following you," like, but I was like trying to be funny. And then she went, you're crazy. And I went. She said, you're crazy. She went, you're crazy. And then ran, like, just kind of, like, did three steps and took three steps ahead. And they were at the same speed, so I had to slow down. So then she went to her home. Now I know where it is. Uh, <laughs> that, that, now, now she's not so wrong. Well, my I, revenge. When you say, I know where it is. But how do you break that? How do you, and here's another segment yeah, I think yeah. you should do, is how you should tell us how to do social interactions. Because a lot mm. of people don't. Mm. How do I solve that social interaction? I would have stopped looked at my phone for long enough to let that person get comfortably away from me and then kept my walk going. Pause. Would love to add to that. The problem was I had I was running late. So I was trying to beat her right. because I had to get home faster than her. So I couldn't slow her. But someone she was has, so fast. Someone has to relent. I yeah. don't like that. I agree with you. I don't like when someone's walking at the same pace as me. <laughs> right. That's annoying. Yeah. yeah. That like, hey, I'm now going faster letting you know you are not going to keep up this pace. Right. Back off. Now I have to Someone, sprint. Right. You now have, I have to, <laughs> you have to say... I think you have You're to, crazy! <laughs> yelling up to I him. think you have to say out loud the reason for your pace. Right. You have to go, who didn't take... Why wouldn't you take your abortion pill? And then you keep <laughs> running. <laughs> <laughs> I have it here! Right. Yeah. You have a good reason. Yeah. A good yeah. enough reason to run. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where were you going? Exactly. Where was I going? Yeah. Oh, the police. No, I was... Uh, <laughs> I was running the police. Well, you could have said that. <laughs> oh, running from the police. Yeah. No, I had to get home, drop my bag off so I could go pick up my kid from daycare. So I was running late for daycare, so I had to get home first. What's more back. crazy? You turning to her and going, I'm not following you. <laughs> or, can you slow down because I have to pick up my kid and I can't go slow. <laughs> like, I don't know what's... <laughs> so I will... Not a lot of good choices is my point. <laughs> so I will say, I did say it in a comedic yes. way and I don't think she got it. I right. went, I'm not following you. <laughs> and she went, you're crazy. <laughs> she was as that. annoyed as you were. I'm going to say that. Because we were racing at that point. For her to say, you're crazy, yeah. she was fed up. She yeah. definitely had a moment because... For you to go, I'm not, I'm not following you. It is a joke. Yeah. Like, there's no other way to look at that. Well, there's yeah. one way to look at it. Well, that you were actually following her. <laughs> yeah. You needed a good excuse not good to. Excuse, the, you know, an well, alibi. I was like, who would do that? Like, even let's say you are a follower. Yeah. And she's the followee. Yeah. And 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 you wouldn't, if you're earnestly doing that, wouldn't you not announce? Like, what does it buy you from being like, I'm not following you? Does that add to the little bit of power you get from this? No, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I think it's, it, to me, to not get the joke. Yeah, I think. You're like a little, you're a little high strung. But it's a joke, but it's also yeah. letting her know you're safe. We're good. I just, we're going the same way. Right. But I think after you say that, like it turns into like, I'll back off. Like, I think if yeah. you kept pace with her after saying it, <laughs> like imagine you go, I'm not following you. She goes, you're crazy. And then you just kept walking next to each other. Yeah. Like that's even crazier. We're throwing that's... popcorn at each other. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think maybe that's the moment. I think the phone is good. I think the phone is good in that scenario. It buys you a real like, right. yeah. Get but, the phone and I go, police, there's a woman following me. Fun. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's I fun. like that. <laughs> but, and I, or you do, what's, and I, I don't love this. Yeah. And I'm saying I don't love this. All right. Because it's corny, but All it gets you out of a jam. Yeah. But I hate these sort of like, sort of like, what are we racing? You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. that kind of thing. Anthony. Yeah. I don't love it. I, but I, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you understand. But I understand. Yeah, so I'm, I'm I, had a, right? I was walking in the bathroom. Yeah. I was walking in the bathroom. I was in Portland. We're at the bar. 
and I was going to the bathroom and a guy went right and I went right and then I went left and I went left and then we were like, and he goes, are we dancing? I hate it. And I wanted to I hate literally it. run out of the bar and not be around this person anymore. Totally. Are we dancing? Yeah. Like, we don't need to do this. I love always... It. You, you love it. Those are the best interactions. Those are the best jokes. Really? Lean into it. Your life will be better. Would you grab the person and start waltzing uh, yes, with them? <laughs> May I have this? I spin him. Dip, take a kiss. May I steal a kiss? Do that a little bit. May I steal a kiss? <laughs> Would have been a better way for you to talk to that woman. Well, you, when you're getting on a plane and then the, the air waitress gets in your way and you kind of air go the what are they called? Air waiter? Air waiter? Air waitress? Air, air the, airman? The, 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 the flight, flight attendant? Flight attendant. You With fly all the time. And I love it. <laughs> okay, what happens? When you accidentally get in their way and like, oh, what, what, your faces are close? I go, may I steal a kiss? <laughs> and the air marshal goes, you're going to 9-11 jail. And he puts me in handcuffs. <laughs> we get a 9-11 ticker on the podcast every time Greg mentions yeah. it. You count to- yeah, we need a ticker. You put it up. That many days since a 9-11 reference. Back to zero. Oh, God. We haven't got this one day. We- so am I crazy dog? Woof, woof. You're crazy, dog. Woof, 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 you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're sponsored. Hair thinning is actually much more complicated than your hair alone. Internal factors can impact the way your hair looks, feels, and grows. Stop accepting hair loss as inevitable. Take Nutrafol's hair wellness quiz and get your personalized hair health plan today. Nutrafol's five formulas are tailored to your hair's needs so you can achieve visibly thicker, stronger, faster growing hair in three to six months. I'm gonna tell you right now, my mom loves Nutrafol. And what I love about it is the hair wellness quiz. They're not gonna just give you whatever. They're gonna give you something that is perfect for you and your needs. My mom sees a difference. She calls me every month. I've become her pusher. She just is always letting me, "Eh, I need more Nutrafol, I need more Nutrafol. And she's not really just someone who gets something just to get something. She's also not gonna put something in her body that just doesn't see you know any win from. So I think if, if she's loving it, you're gonna love it too. Nutrafol's hair growth supplements are physician formulated using drug-free high quality ingredients, no prescription or doctor's visits required. And with Nutrafol's free shipping and automated deliveries, you'll never miss a day. That's great. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, fast growing hair with less shedding. Start your hair growth journey today by taking Nutrafol's hair wellness quiz and get your personalized hair health plan today. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering J Train listeners $10, $10, $10 off your first month's subscription and free shipping at Nutrafol.com slash quiz when you enter the promo code FEATHER. Take the quiz and get started on reaching your hair wellness goals with Nutrafol today. Nutrafol.com spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L dot com slash quiz promo code FEATHER. Feather. That's Nutrafol.com slash quiz promo code Feather. Better help. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Most New Year's resolutions are about telling yourself what you did in the past was bad and what you'll do in the future is good. Instead of beating yourself up, turn to BetterHelp. Their online therapy helps you find the strengths you already have so you can ditch those extreme resolutions and work with yourself, not against yourself. I am someone who needs a lot of help getting into things. It doesn't matter what it is because I get down on myself. I'll Google what I'm looking for, doctor, lawyer, and I'll go, what the hell am I doing? Why am I Googling jobs? And that can happen with therapy. I'm sure if you're out there, it's tough to go to a friend or family member and go, do you know on anyone I can go to? And that's where BetterHelp comes in. It's a great tone of the water into therapy. And BetterHelp makes it easy to get started. Take a quick quiz about what you're looking for in a therapist, and they'll match you up. I, I mean, that's the, that is the what you would want from a friend. You would want to go to a friend and be like, hey, I'm having trouble with this. Do you know a therapist for that? And honestly, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that with a friend or a family member. And that's where BetterHelp comes in. It's someone that you can go to and ask Who's the best person to help me with what I'm going through? BetterHelp is totally online. They have therapy through a video call, phone call, or even a message. Or messaging. That's great. Whatever works for you. You can even switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. How great would it be uh, to do your therapy while driving around the car? That's pretty cool. 
That's a real zen way to go about it. Visit betterhelp.com slash JTrain today to get 10, 10, 10, 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash JTrain. When we're talking New Year's resolutions, top of your list has got to be better sleep. And there's no better sleep than the one with brand new Brooklyn and sheets. Let Brooklyn and kick off your 2024 makeover with sheets ranging from linen to flannel and customizable bundles to outfit your whole space. Brooklyn and can suit any routine, old or new. I am a Brooklyn and fan. I'm a Brooklyn and user. It's on my bed right now. And here's the thing I bring up my mom a lot in these ads because. She's just a tough buyer. She's not going to just buy anything because it's comfy. It's got to look good and be comfortable and be amazing and be something that can last a long time. And I knew the minute my mom said to me, oh, my God, I love these Brooklyn and sheets. I knew that it was a winner. And when I heard her go, have you heard of Brooklyn? And I'm like, OK, they've made it into the mainstream. Their mom approved. And it really is a great mental spa day to buy new sheets, put them in the wash and put them on your bed. You're going to feel really good getting into that bed. Brooklyn and works directly with suppliers and passes the savings on to you. That means incredible products at a reasonable price. Brooklyn and launches new products, colors and patterns all the time. Try out their sheets, towels and robes that pop with bold colors and seasonable prints. Seasonable? Seasonal. Seasonal prints. So start the year off by so start the year off right by investing in yourself with Brooklyn and sleep and self-care essentials. Visit in-store or online at brooklinen.com. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Use code JTRAIN20 or uh, for $20 off your order of $100 or more. That's code JTRAIN20 for $20 off your order of $100 or more. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Use promo code JTRAIN20 for $20 off. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that'll help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet 5 bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code JTRAIN. New customers can bet just 5 bucks to get 200 Instantly in bonus bets, only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code JTRAIN. The crown is yours. I got to say, I'm a huge fan of DraftKings. This is a great opportunity. You put five bucks in, and then you get 200 instantly in bonus bets. And I bet on every NFL game. It makes them fun. It gives you a little skin in the game. You can go to a bar. You can join some fan base and just be a fan for the day. What a fun thing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY-467-369. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccbg.org. Please play responsibly on behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Kansas. 21 plus age varies by jurisdiction. Void in, uh, void in Ontario, bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. See dkng.com slash football for eligibility and deposit restrictions, terms, and responsible gaming resources. Resources. <laughs> anyway, we got to get to our next segment. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. No, I like a segment. <laughs> Are they okay? That's the next segment. Yeah, fun. So this is a segment where we take people's social media posts and ask the question, Are they okay? Are they okay? Sure. I think this is a fun set. And we say this with love. Right. Yeah. We go, Maybe they should get into better help. Maybe, mm, you know, no. are they okay? And we have some of our own here to see if we're okay. Right. Oh, so, great. Great. I love it. I'm a big Burt Kreischer fan. I love yes. Burt. This is his post for his weight loss. Uh-huh. Is Burt okay? Let's ask. Now, here's the post. Now, that's before. Yeah. Look Holy at the shit. He has lost wow. a ton of... Looks great. Wow. Looks fantastic. Now, I guess someone told me this is a reference to the Geraldo Rivera picture. What? If you look that up, Geraldo Rivera showing pubes would be the way <laughs> to search that. So that is already a bad sign for our, are you okay? Right. Sure. But like, I'm no, it's not gonna be a naked picture. If you just got nervous looking this up, just look it up. Geraldo Rivera uh, shirtless. Okay. Yeah. 
What a does. maniac this man is. Geraldo? Geraldo. It's yeah, there's the picture that someone said that this is a reference ah. to. But it's too long ago. How long ago was that? That wasn't like yesterday. Yeah. And I do think when someone loses 40 pounds, if you lose more can than we, 40 can pounds. Can go back for one second? Sorry. Go ahead. Can you go to that Geraldo picture? Uh, up one, that guy. The yeah. one is next to the guy. <laughs> this is Why awesome. is he making with my uncle? <laughs> Why is he doing? <laughs> the girl's gone wild flash. Geraldo <laughs> Rivera, uh, Rivera at Cobb Center will take a shirtless picture. Can we go to that website? Let's just see what he's doing there. The idea that someone, can you imagine if someone came up to you in line after a show was like, Hey man, can we like relive your shirtless picture? Would you do it? Yeah, I would yeah. do anything. Anyway, I think when Undercover Boss came out, Geraldo Rivera went, "They're stealing my look." <laughs> that show is the most offensive show on television. Yeah. Undercover Boss, the boss of a Fortune 500 company, goes and works at his own company where literally he has to be amongst people who are like, I work 17 jobs. I gotta, I can't make my money. And like, he's, he sees nothing wrong with how horrific a person at random is yeah. doing life at their company. Yeah. And then he just like gives one of them 50,000. Yeah. He's like, I guess I'm a good guy now. Like th there are other people who do the same job as this person. Yep. Who can't make ends meet. Yeah. Maybe you should raise. And yeah. then the best part of that show is they go, okay, I got to transform into one of my workers. So make me look poor. Yeah. <laughs> they put out. him in. <laughs> 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 his face. And I don't know what their ma wig budget is. It's the same as a sketch group starting out in New York City. <laughs> right. It, and then like the, the, the poor, <laughs> the worker, it's so funny. They're in the cafeteria. The worker's crying. They're pouring out their heart out. And they're, and they're like, I mean, you get it, Elliot. Banana breath. <laughs> Uh, it's so it's so funny. If you watch it through the lens of like, the, they, this CEO is only trusted to care about one person because he met them. Yeah, like yeah. he can't yeah, think yeah, of yeah. anyone else that works in this company. He's like, it'll be like rooms to go, and then like the guy's like, I gotta go to my other job as an Uber driver, and he's like, oh, this guy's got it so hard. He's like. So everyone here has it hard. Yeah. My argument is they don't go low enough. I want to see Tim Cook in the child minds of Africa. <laughs> you know, swinging an axe, dressed like a kid. I want to see that. Oh, Billy, you have it hard. You're three years old and you have radiation poisoning. <laughs> Hope you turn into the Hulk, right, Billy? That's <laughs> no, oh, very funny die. sketch. That's a sketch. Yeah, that's that really, is, really I, funny. <laughs> I don't know what to think. This Billy, I don't know if he's going to make it. Maybe I could give him a scholarship to, to a cumin after school program. Yeah, it is fucked up. Yeah. By the way, I just noticed V update a resume. Uh, it's probably like the, there. Yeah. The show is over, two episodes in. Is Bird okay? What do you think of the, this post? If you saw something, would you. I, I think if you lose more than forty pounds, you kind of lose your mind a little bit. I think I think it's too dramatic a shift. Something he looks happens great. to the this brain. Is the thing. You know when you go underwater too fast and the pressure does something to you. <laughs> right. I think it's too dramatic a shift. <laughs> Why the pubes? I didn't notice that till just now. Yeah, I was same. wondering what was crazy. It's like oh, he doesn't have his shirt on. It's like no, oh, no, no. He's zoom got out. His Right, those yeah. are clear. He's showing a little bit of pubes there. It, I mean, on it, a, a he has a million followers. This isn't like this Why is a, can't be sexy. Why man no. can't be sexy? <laughs> this boy run fast crazy. Why <laughs> <laughs> can't be sexy? All right, no, is he, is this so? Is this post a cry for help or a a fun I've lost weight post? I think it's a it's a fun. I, I it's probably a fun I lost weight post. I think the face is a the face it's too serious. It's too serious for it, right? Because the other face is so jovial. Right, And I also wonder, because Bert's so famously performed without a shirt on for years, but the conceit there is that he has a little bit of a belly and he's right, okay right. with his body and maybe you should be too. That's what mm. I always got out of it. How do you do this now? It's a, it, if you're, if right. you're very, you know, if you're very in shape, I don't know if he still does the shirt on. Let me say this. Or shirt off, thing. rather. I'll wait. Well... All of us. Go ahead. It's I didn't unreal. Mean that like that. I didn't mean that like that. Unreal. That was. I, I felt I, like I was on Undercover Boss. No, I thought that was like I interrupted funny. Tim Cook. No, it hit V too hard. I got scared. I'll wait. I'll wait. What are you a substitute teacher? <laughs> this class is going. going. <laughs> is, is, it's too loud. I'll wait. You even your had your hands in like a CEO. <laughs> I'll wait. 
<laughs> you closed your eyes. You have the glasses, oh, too. Man. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. I think Greg is inappropriate. Greg. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, get right Go in. ahead. Yeah. What I was going to say, and this is probably, he's a guy who doesn't do a shirt thing, right? Yeah. Mm. But now, he's showing you a little bit I think the future of him is pantless. <laughs> and he's letting us know that he's up in the game. No more just shirt. This is a this warning. Is... This is a warning. Ah. I, I agree. Coming soon. I'm happy I waited. <laughs> <laughs> because you're right. This is a warning. This is a this is a subtle warning yeah. that first was the shirt. Yep. Next is the schlong. Mm. No underwear. No underwear. I'm going to do an ass thing. Uh-huh. That'll lead me to naked performances. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. I don't. I think on, the, on what Anthony said, the face he's making, it lets you inside the mind of a man. Here's the mm. thing. All of us think we are fuckable too much. Mm. Every man has ego. No matter how ugly a woman thinks a man is or how much a, a woman thinks a guy doesn't think of himself as a sexual beast, we all think that way. So there's a moment where you lose enough weight where you, like that is a look I would do in the mirror with, I can't have anyone see that because it would reveal how fuckable I think I am. Uh, do you, do you know do what sexy I mean? faces That's in the mirror? Really? Absolutely, you really? don't. I don't I you get I... dressed up in a suit. You're not looking in the mirror with a face that you go, if anyone saw this, it cool. would be the end of me. <laughs> wow. I think I used to. I'll definitely used When's to. When's the last time you put on a suit, bro? Yeah. My wedding. That's right. Yeah. Me too. Throw on that suit again. <laughs> okay, Greg. <laughs> so, we're the same. Awesome. <laughs> also, you have a hat on backwards. So it's a tag. <laughs> I, I felt the tag. <laughs> yeah, I did feel it. trying to be cool. Oh, yeah. Bad. But I will say, when I was younger, I did that because I believed in the the hope of me sexually. Yeah. This is my point. And now I don't anymore. This is my so point. So I don't even bother if making If you had face. a body transformation, maybe I would. the hope is back. Okay, I think I when you, you lose that amount of weight, no. you go into, maybe I'm fuckable. A hundred, okay. I'm, and I think that is a show of losing one's mind. A hundred percent, right? Because anytime, you know, I do body by, you know, I very body famously do body by Amy. Amy. Body by Melissa. What are you out of your mind? <laughs> I do body by Amy. It's a prenatal workout for women. You can look it up. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it's hard to think you're fuckable when you're doing Body by Amy. Well, but. actually, it's quite the opposite. Okay. Uh, so after I, I, I did lose some weight in the after past the year. And like, you know where your body is. You always want to look at your body right after a workout. Because right. that's the best it'll be. Yeah. And Most then tone. in three minutes, it falls off. And right. you're back to like whatever you look like. It's like horrible. an ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, I will say in those moments, I do do... I do like, uh, like when the police take a picture of you and they do a front and they do a side... And there's a little twitch in me that goes like, look at you. Right. Look at you, Mr. 22 again. I think yeah. the yeah. male ego. Yeah, I think you might be honest something. Combined. I don't know. That's, to me, no. I think he's okay. Yeah, I think he's okay. But I think he's fallen under the trap of any man who's now looks good again for the first time in a while. Money, weight loss, two things that affect yeah. men in a way. Bad mix with the penis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, that's what went down. You know, a couple guys went down that way, brother. <laughs> is, that couple, your, uh, is that your new catchphrase? A couple, what was it again? Down that way, brother. They went down that way, brother. Brother? I didn't know you were a brother guy. Okay, let's go to brother. the next one. But I had a G- thing. Jimmy uh, Fallon do talking thing. to Olivia Rodrigo. Oh. This, to me. What did he do to Olivia Rodrigo? <laughs> Wait, did he, you have another crazy dog? Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> we don't know yet. Watch oh. this interview with uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, and I'm a big fan. By Just the way. watch Jimmy Fallon reacting to. I'm yeah. sorry. If I, if I was following one person, it'd be you, though. I hope Thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really, though. You, you, uh, what, uh, what, uh, any reason why. <laughs> She doesn't no, follow you know, anyone I, on I try Insta. to follow zero people because it helps me be off of my phone, yeah, sure. um, in, you know, off of social media, but. I had this very embarrassing encounter once um, where I was stalking my ex, as one does, sue me, sorry. <laughs> and um, and uh, I accidentally followed him because I was stalking him. And I was just following one person, so it was super obvious that I was following him. And my friend ran into my room and was like, oh my God, did you mean to follow him? Like, unfollow him. And I went and I grabbed my phone. I'm like, oh shoot, oh my God. And I went to open the Instagram app and the second that I opened the app, my phone died. Oh my gosh. Charger, that reaction. So that reaction. Does he have? I, I, I don't know. Do you have to? Sometimes when you're so bored, he's selling. You have to oversell. Yeah. You gotta, and yeah. I think if he's doing this on a nightly basis, 
You just like you zone out. You gotta remember this and, guy is doing a job. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I, I don't. It's think, a good point. I don't think he's gone as much as he has to. He has to what feign you, enthusiasm. This is as, what so this is more acting. You want him to go great, lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't give a shit. I don't care about you. The I Middle don't East is on fire right now. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want him yeah. to do? Yeah, man. Let me just put on this hat. And yeah. <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're 12 no. years old. Yeah. So follow people. Yeah, okay, yeah, he's yeah. okay. Let's he's go to the fine. next video. Is it, And again, you could send in, are they okay from wherever? Okay, let's do this one. Schultz promoting his, his uh, Andrew Schultz, friend of ours. Sure, yeah, yeah. Funny comedian. Yes. He posted this video of him playing, um, where is he playing? Where is he playing? The moon? <laughs> yeah. I also want to say it. <laughs> Yeah, what landmass right. is, uh, is Schultz playing? The biggest state. He's doing the the. <laughs> what is it called? It's in L.A. It's the uh, Palestra. Oh yes, the, the forum. Oh, the, the forum, forum yeah, in L.A. Of course. The video is is unbelievable. There's not a joke in the video. It's for a comedy show. <laughs> Play the video. We got. Gonna... Oh, he's gonna drag us into this beef. No beef! Oh my god, we can't work with Kreischer, and now we can't work with Schultz. Right, you can yeah. work with all of them. I, I've worked with them. Plus Jimmy Fallon and Olivia Rodrigo. <laughs> We've all been on the show already. We did a yeah. Fallon. We're good. <laughs> a Fallon-esque thing? We're done with that. We've moved on from Fallon. Yeah, you did it for the both of us. Yeah. There's Wilt Chamberlain. Who's, oh, is that Mick Jagger? Mick Jagger, yeah. Ali! Is that Frazier? Who's Ken Norton? There's Kobe. Magic. Shaq. And then Traffic. Food Fighters. Food Fighters. <laughs> traffic. LA Traffic. This guy in his car. Michael Jackson was in on there. Gretzky. Hendrix. Wow. And Schultz. I love it. <laughs> that, I love it. I don't have that confidence. I wish I yeah. had that confidence. And that's yeah. why you're here. And that's why <laughs> he's there. It's a good point. You're right. You're right. Schultz yeah. is also, first of all, before I say anything, I know a thing about Schultz that he did that's one of the nicest things I've ever heard another human do. Sure. Whoa. So never, ever. This guy is one of the best. I love that man. I'm, I, listen, yeah. big I fan. This is, but I say, I'm right. saying when you put yourself in a video with Kobe, Ali, Shaq, Will Chamberlain, Jimi Hendrix, Michael Jackson. We get to wonder if you're okay. Absolutely, but I said we get I to ever... when they're for a comedy show to promote a comedy show where there's not a joke told. You go, has this person lost? Is it what's going on? Is, are we in Kanye territory? Where he's going to tell me the Zionists <laughs> no, run no, the hospital? No. That's okay. Also, also, I'll say this. I don't know. Two things. One, what's the nicest he's thing? He's selling. I can't say. Uh, he did a thing for someone that's so good. That I said, anytime I'm on a podcast, I'm going to mention that that guy's the best guy ever. But he, he, can't, can't, he I can't shouldn't talk. say it's the like thing. He shouldn't say the Yeah, he yeah. can't. You'll but tell you go me like, after. Yeah. That's like godly. You got to uh, tell me after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that being said, one of two things. One, if I posted that video, everyone would laugh. That's a joke. Yeah. Right. So it might be a joke. You're a joke. I am a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely a joke. <laughs> I am. You like a yeah, are yeah, a joke. Yeah. My life yeah, yeah. is a you, bit. If it was you holding the babies, <laughs> that would be funny as fuck. Yeah. I, I, I guess it's not Schultz, is he okay? Is the person who's motivated by this to get tickets okay? That's hilarious. That's funny. That, because the idea yeah. that like, this is our struggle. Yeah. And you're sitting in like West Hollywood renting an apartment. Well, I always find- And you're like, fine, were they? I don't know. I see that and I go- I don't, I, you know. I always find it so funny. Just This is comedy in general. Mm. Because those things that we've seen, like, it's like, it's it's music, it's sports, it's this, cool. like, transcendental sort of experience yeah. by what you're watching. But no matter what the fanfare and the music and the bluster of comedy, <laughs> you still have to come out and go, like, what's going on with the Dung Beetle? <laughs> like, it's so anticlimactic. Right. It can never be but that because of what it actually I, is. This is why I always dress up and go on stage on Halloween. Because at some point, right, right, you're right. dressed as a pea pod right, going, right. dating's hard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the funny, yeah. Yeah, that, that's I, what's I always so Here's funny the problem to with me. You. This is your problem, Steve. You could have went down. The, this is what I kind of like about you. Okay. You could have went down the serious road. You think I could have gone this road? There was a time. Okay. There's a time 
the wrong push, the wrong way, the wrong audience right. gets behind you. <laughs> right. You are it's fair. something else. Mm. I go in but another direction may- where I'm like, no one believed in me. <laughs> There's a part of you that was right. ruined as a child. Right. That keeps you like a goofy fucking asshole. Right. It is true. And That's, I love it. Yeah. You're the right. only reason we're still friends. Right. Thank you. That's why <laughs> what I say. Oy vey. <laughs> but I want okay, to we gotta, finish my we thought. We have, about, so we yeah, gotta I just go. wanted to finish my thought about oh, real quick. Is the thing is that like, there's two things about that. One, either he thinks it's also funny or not. Two, he is selling something to people that true, people right. are there's buying. Brand. It's awesome. That it's a true. brand, and it's something that just because that's we're not doing that doesn't mean it's not. No. And the, the third next... thing is he didn't edit that video. Someone else did. <laughs> you know, so you should also remember. What do you? What else no, that didn't. No, no, no. He watched the video before it got posted. The next video is him doing jokes about being in LA, and it's funny. Okay, but I, I, so, uh, but I just thought that was okay. Now let's go to Greg. Is Greg okay? First of all, I'm never okay. But I can't. I'm embarrassed. You. Greg chimpanzee. posted this. First of all, I 100 percent can def- defeat a chimpanzee in a fight. Uh, let's just get started with the basics. One, I was never said I can't have a weapon. I got a weapon. What's my weapon? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. To be said. Schultz's brand actually makes more sense to me now. <laughs> what the fuck is your brand? My brand is I'll fight a chimpanzee. <laughs> and I'll win. Where are you getting the poison from? I have a poison guy. <laughs> and aren't you worried about I, the poison on your fingernails getting in your mouth after you're done? Everyone brings this up. A, I wash my hands. B, I'm not going to cut myself. <laughs> it's not my main <laughs> I can't believe this is going yeah you're explaining <laughs> why you would be what brought this on that you would beat a chimpanzee we did a would you rather on my podcast friday night greg fry on energy we don't do <laughs> wednesday morning. we don't do plugs here <laughs> cut plugging. that out i'm just cut you. that out <laughs> <laughs> cut that out so I was, I'm like, we were doing a would you rather and he said uh get beat eaten like fight a hundred squirrels or one chimpanzee and I said, obviously the chimpanzee, because I can take a chimpanzee. So, to that I think effect. the squirrels uh, is the choice. You're out a, of your mind. A mil- hundred squirrels, they're everywhere. They're a thousand cuts. You're which... underestimating the power of a squirrel. Right? And, Sorry. Really? Okay. Me? No, no, him. Fine. Listen, I'm, I, it's okay to be my, wrong. My girlfriend in college took home a stray squirrel yeah. one day and uh, put it in a shoebox. And that thing got out. <laughs> it's a baby much. squirrel who was injured, by yeah. the way. Okay. And that thing caused so much havoc. And that's one a hurt squirrel. Right. One squirrel. A ruckus. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Exactly. I, and I agree you with are you. wearing the hat yes. to know yeah, what you Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. I'm the world's foremost squirrel hunter <laughs> of North one, America. It's one chimpanzee. Which okay. Means it's one on one. I don't got one random squirrel who's a fucking you know Hercules of his race. So we didn't know that he's is in there. there. True. Is it not to go Schultz on you. Yeah. Is there ever a thought of someone being like, you got to check out my favorite comedian? And they go, oh, just send me his Instagram. And then the first video is, I got to come on here <laughs> and <Yeah>. address <laughs> whether I could beat up a chimpanzee There's reasons or not. no one will see me at the Omaha Funny Boat. <laughs> There's a reason I go there and they cancel the weekend. I just flew to Omaha for a weekend. All right, let's go to Anthony. Uh, we got, again, so we put the mirror on other people. Yeah, of course. Of we course. put it on ourselves. You have to it's do this. only you fair. Got, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to own a heckler? Anthony owning a heckler. What if it's literally you selling a heckler? Like, buy this man. Oh. <laughs> What'd you say? Did I ever beat a comb? <laughs> oh, Hell yeah! <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you did this. <laughs> Hiroshima! <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude. That's hilarious. Rest in peace, comb guy. You're exactly. back playing with, with the, the angels, angels now. now. Wow. Now. You're back. <laughs> I'm back? Wow. You're back. Yeah. Men are back. <laughs> Anthony is back. Anthony. Explain the story behind the the heckler video. Sure. Where was it taken? If you go to Anthony's Instagram, just got a like out of V. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just wow. achieved a like. Very cool. What is what? What was the? To me, I think the putting up Kobe yeah. in this video makes sense to me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Like, so th- you know that is yeah. I'm on board. Well, there's a difference in the way Schultz and I see ourselves. <laughs> right, a little bit. Schultz goes, I am on this par, which is the reason he's doing what he's doing. Right, that's why and, he's doing it. And, and, and I go, what a joke it would be to take me serious. Yeah. And there's a reason I'm where I am. When did that happen? <laughs> that was at a little club called the Laugh Tour. Which the makes laugh. one stop in Jersey City. <laughs> <Okay>. uh, <laughs> uh, one stop touring the, all the, of Jersey City, the side yeah. of a restaurant. Yeah, uh, and um, yeah, this guy said, "Do you have a comb?" 
How long into your set did he ask if you had a coma? Uh, it might have been three minutes. <laughs> he was sitting so on this thing. T- so this guy was a dick? He just wanted to be a dick? He, he, he just wanted to be a dick. I often, people people just go, I'll say whatever I want to this guy. <laughs> yeah. And they're not wrong. <laughs> There's a problem is they're not wrong. I mean, also, it is funny that he did like the most dad yes. heckle. He of, did. Like, you ever heard of a coma? So I retorted in my way, which yeah. is the most, you know, d- dad response. <laughs> hey, fuck you, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> with it, uh, somebody commented. Like we're all out at the jerk store, which is basically the sentiment <laughs> yeah, yeah, of yeah, this. Yeah. So Never I was heard like, of manners. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, this is that's such a bad mm. unroast yeah. that I did it because there's so many videos now where it's like comedian right. squashes innocent woman, <laughs> you know. So I was like, I barely take down. If anything, I barely take down this guy. So I was like, well, let me edit in like you that's know, hilarious. just like I really got this guy. You edited in this? Uh, of course I didn't. Sam Lichtenstein did. Oh, oh I love good old Sam. Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good great. Old Sam, the Wandering Jew. The wa- <laughs> <laughs> funny comic. Too. Oh, very funny. Yeah. So hold on. I don't want to hold so on. what happened at the? <laughs> dude, what, how did the crowd react? <laughs> because that, we get the pleasure of. I think they rolled their eyes at how my attempt at like you know. They're, <laughs> I think they were just like, so it didn't they work. Were, I think they, no, I think they were like, we're we're back on his side. Yeah. After that, right. that's yeah. a great. There's yeah. a famous heckling video to me. <laughs> yeah. Where this guy is getting heckled, and literally it is like. It's where these crowd work videos jump the shark for yeah. me. Yeah. He's getting heckled and he turns and he just looks at the person. He goes, Can you please stop? <laughs> You're bothering so... everyone. I'm trying to do my job. Yeah. And then he go and then it literally goes smash cut to here are my dates. <laughs> and then you're like Fun. And you're like, well, what was this? What yeah. was this post? Okay, so now let's see if so yeah, Anthony, let's... you're okay. Is he okay? Yeah, I think he's okay. Is he okay? <laughs> I mean, in a broader <laughs> sense, of course Greg not. Greg is the only yeah. crazy In that one moment, this point. yeah. <laughs> okay, here's me. Oh, yeah, this okay, is, here's... this could be a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a joke from his Netflix special. Yeah. <laughs> here's me, 37 and single, airing right now on Netflix. Uh, okay. No plugs! Is... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cut it out. Um, okay, this is how me do you do getting... This, by the way, how do I get my face with a background? I want to do that. That's a different podcast I do, uh, <laughs> where I give tutorials on how to um, put out I funny know, I content. I will say this, too. When I see that out in the wild, I, 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 I go, ah, the, the amount of hours it must... It's, I'm sure it's one button. <laughs> yeah. But, like, This is I, literally so less than one button. Yeah. I'm going to ask V later. To put your face... It's literally one right. effect on He's TikTok. Me. Okay. <laughs> I am now complaining about how that they only have hot men in the Skims campaign. Uh-huh. So Skims, Skims has a men's line of underwear, which... Great. I'd love to try them on. But for years, every woman in my life have talked about skims like, finally, what? underwear for right. my curves that represent me. And then all those wife? same women saw this campaign and were like, Kim Come on, Come on. We have fun. <laughs> you know, we have fun, right? <laughs> this is a good time, boys. <laughs> so we have fun. Left. Am I crazy for getting upset that they didn't have a body-inclusive male underwear campaign? <laughs> no, I think it's great. I think you're, right? yeah, I think you're just like, right. I'm right. Yeah, I, I do. Don't you think? Yeah. That we've spent our whole lives being told, look at how great this company includes everybody. Yeah, yeah. And then the minute they did a male one, mm-hmm. they're like, yes, give mama what she wants. <laughs> yep. <laughs> because men aren't buying underwear. Women are buying men's underwear for their men. That's what's happening. You don't buy your own underwear? I like to every now and again, but my wife will come home in with a pinch. 15 pairs. Only in a pinch. Only in a pinch. Only yeah. if you've run out of underwear, my wife you've goes, run to the she store. She holds yes. them up like a pirate flag. That's goes, a good point. Who's going to know what this is? And then she throws it away, and then she goes, I got you more underwear. To the jockeys you like. Uh, yeah. That's the end of this segment. Let's go to the next segment. Let's, um, let's do a luxury lounge email. And we're going to do these on Patreon. Hour so 10, this buddy. episode, you can go and finish it on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Jared Freed. You got Greg Stone, Anthony DeVito. We do this, you know, every Monday. J Train Pocket. We're back, baby. Right. Doot, we're, back. Doot. we're here. Let's. <laughs>